The family of an Ohio teen who died after attempting a TikTok challenge spoke with 2 News this evening. They told us Jacob loved football and making people laugh. 2 News reporter Seth Bird is live here in the studio after talking with Jacob's family. Jacob's viewing was yesterday and the family had plenty of support for a teenager who tragically passed away but made a lasting impression on many in his short life. Watch your kids because Jacob had taken Benadryl ever since he was a little tiny kid, and I don't think that he would have ever thought that it would have hurt him. 13-year-old Jacob Stevens passed away after overdosing on Benadryl. Jacob was attempting a challenge on TikTok calling for people to take 12 to 14 pills for a hallucinating effect. Jacob's family did not know about the challenge until arriving at the hospital, where Jacob stayed hooked up to a ventilator for six days. He unfortunately did not wake up. His family is calling for sweeping changes to the access of over-the-counter medications like Benadryl. Put age limits on it. Uh, it's the same thing with the Benadryl. Maybe we need to put a, a lot, a, a, you know, an age group that they cannot buy aspirin. They can't buy Benadryl. They can't. It's not just TikTok. It's anything that's out there that can damage these children's lives. While the family advocates for future change, they're taking Jacob's loss one day at a time. I can't, I can't offer anything. I, I, I can't deal with myself, so I don't have anything to offer anybody else right now. If you can, maybe sit in their bedrooms and just think of memories, because that helped me a little bit. Because mm -hmm. a lot of memories come back in a place that you guys like have been together mm -hmm. a lot. It helped me a lot. His family remembers him as a caring, fun-loving kid who occasionally messes with his family members like any teenage boy would. This includes pranks on his sister and grandma, but a tradition between father and son will also be missed. We used to come down here at night times and uh, fish, We'd jump on the motorcycle at 12 o'clock at night, take off out of town and come down here and sit until the sun come up and fish. And, uh, so I'm really gonna miss doing that with him, really. The family set up the Jacob Strong Fund on GoFundMe. The money left over after paying for funeral costs will go towards creating a scholarship fund in Jacob's memory. In studio, Seth Bird, 2 News.